has to go to Laser Bruce's up of six kilo more. Back to Pokemon. Brilliant Diamond. Now we're the ones that are brilliant. Look how brilliantly shiny we are. Shiny as balls. We need to head to the warehouse, wherever that is, to help. Oh, I gotta check out the department store. Oh, there's Dawn over there. Hang on, I need to go to the department store first. I need to know what you can get up in here. We didn't look at this last time. Hello. What do you got? Meh. I can do some actual, like, Great Balls, Ultra Balls, something. What do you got? Oh man, I'll take some Ultra Balls. Let's take, uh, 20. Cool, thank you. I think I got some nuggets I could flog, but I don't really need to right now. Welcome to the fabulous Failstone department store. Indeed. An app. The counter app. Yeah, right. I think he used to use that for EV counting when I was uh, EV training back in the day. Ah. It's probably what it's for. It seems it's sold right next to the uh, vitamins. Cool. And you? So I suggest a bottle of Carvos. Yeah, no, thank you. I apologize for asking you your opinion. I feel like that was a bad move on my part. Anyway, <laughs> oh TMs. Woo. You turn. Substitute. Swords dance. Hmm. What do you got? Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Focus Blast, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Solar Beam, Psychic. I'll take two. I know that one of them, at least one of them is going to learn it automatically on its own, but I don't want to wait. Hmm. This is a... Uh... Can I check if someone can learn it? You can't. That's kind of dumb, eh? Do you want to like see if someone can learn it before you buy it? Oh well. I just want to see if uh, Dazzling Gleam can be learned by um, Goldo. Cadabra can learn it though. Like I said, I'm not going to keep Cadabra in the team though. I was hoping Golduck would learn it. Drain Punch? No. Nasty Plot? Crobat can learn Nasty Plot. That's interesting. Alright, moving on. Ah oh, no, I don't want to talk to you. You might say something stupid at me. <laughs> I can't handle that. I'm too fragile for that. For, um, your house or whatever? I guess. Actually, can I sell you some nuggets and shit? Oh, here we go. Is there a special person that the mushroom goes to, or like the mushroom buying people, or just uh, anyone? I don't really know. It wasn't one of the games that was like collectors of each of the things, and you had to sell the right thing to the right person or whatever, for maximum profits or whatever. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong. Ah, young Pokemon trainer. As your senior in life, let me make a gift of this sticky barb. This sticky barb is a held item. If the Pokemon holding it is hit with a physical move, the Sticky Barb sticks to the opposing Pokemon and inflicts damage. Good. I've shopped here loyally for years, now they consider me a regular. Ha! Huh. How surprising, I guess. Uh, first floor please, I wish to leave now. Hmm. 
medicine and items for all your adventuring needs. I'm glad you got the most important crap on the bottom floor. It's to stop us from having to tool around too much. Now let's check out these uh, houses we haven't been into and then we'll go help Dawn I suppose. No hurry, I'm sure she'll be fine. If there are people who desire to see them, Pokemon will appear in many different guises. A myth says that Mount Coronet parted Sinnoh into halves. Seeing the Pokemon Shellos makes me think that maybe the myth is real. And because there's two different colours. Team Galactic building bugs me. I can't sleep with it leaving over me. Did it just appear? Surely the building was already here and they commandeered it or something. It did just spring up overnight, I'm sure. That would be very strange. That would be very unnerving indeed. Let's go. Hey Bobby, can you help me? I dropped my Pokedex by accident and Team Galactic found it. Now they won't give it back. Please, I need your help. Team up a battle with me. You and your Pokemon together with me and my Pokemon. United like this, our dream team has no chance of losing. I'm not letting Team Galactic get away with this. Maybe don't drop it next time, stupid. I don't want to side with Team Galactic, but it sounds like it's your fault. <laughs> Whatever. I have all the advantages of Psychic without any of the disadvantages. Well, not all the advantages, I guess I don't get stabbed off of it. But you know. Ow. Tick peg. That was not a good. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Yeah, I'd shudder too if I was you. You just really got put in a situation that you are not ready for, my little pro gun friend. I'll take another absorb for that. Get him, Clefairy. Not really a fan of teaming up with people like this. <laughs> The AI is always so shit as a teammate, you know? He's just standing there like a mannequin waiting for me to do the work. The fool. You tried to put it to sleep. It was already half dead. What's the next gym gonna be then? Done it by two kids? This isn't right. You guys are definitely kids too. I should get my head down and just watch over our warehouse. Thank god we got some money. I did spend a lot of money before. Aw, oh, that stinks. Our Pokemon are weak. We should get new ones from headquarters. <laughs> Who cares about some Pokedex anyway? Team Galactic's gonna own all the Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. There, take it. Take your Pokedex. These things we have in the warehouse have already been moved to Pastoria City anyway. So we'll say, you'll get yours and run like the grunts we are. Why would a grunt ever admit to being a grunt? What's going on? Why is Team Galactic out in the streets like they own the place? Bobby, thank you sincerely. If Professor Rowan ever finds out that I lost my Pokedex, ugh, I don't want to think about it. So Bobby, what are you going to do now? I'm thinking of going to Pastoria City. The Great Marsh there is home to many kinds of Pokemon. I'd like to go into the building and beat up the rest of the Team Galactic people if I can. I can definitely do it with the training. Get out of my way, Goldo. You wanna fight? Whoa, 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 what have we here? You are so not Team Galactic. You're a little kid to boot. Those things we made with the energy we took from Valley Windworks are already in Pastoria City. Huh? That's not what this is about? Let me in, asshole. This rust-encrusted door is locked. It appears to take a special key to open. 
God damn it. Fly. And I can fly now. Because that's what the gym let me do. Oh man. I can just fly. Where the hell's Pastoria City then? Can I just fly there? Obviously not, because I've never been there, but. Which one's Pastoria? Down here? Okay, so we need to head south. I could fly back if we wanted to, but. We got no reason to do that at this stage. Let's just head south. Oh, wait, what's over here? Can we look over here first? Galactic Veilstone Building. We dream of the universe. That's the one that looms over them. Not that little warehouse. Me, Team uh, Galactic. This is Team Galactic Headquarters. I'm sorry, this is the Galactic Veilstone Building. Cosmic energy for the win. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could harness that boundless energy? Yeah, man. Let's go. The door is locked. The special key is needed. Uh, we Team Galactic will take everything that can be taken. We will eliminate everything that is not needed. That is Team Galactic's policy. Wow, you really sound like good guys. You don't sound evil at all. Man, how do you manage to sound so not evil all the time with your taking everybody's everything and ruling the universe? Doesn't sound, doesn't sound like you're the bad guys at all. You must really believe in what you do. Fucking morons. <laughs> Jesus. Hello. Look out behind you. What is it? <gasps> A ghost. Ghastly. What level are you? Your duck's dozing off? Why? I'm gonna sleep. Foolish ghastly, what do you got next? Please don't go to sleep. Cadaver. Wow, that's kind of annoying. I still don't have anything for that. Except for terror, I suppose. That's why we need Drapion. Drapion will murder the psychic types. And the fairy types, too. Pew, pew, pew. He's going space invaders on me. Alright, bite him. That's really unintimidating sounding. Compared to my crappy bite, which sounds quite intimidating. Do I look like a space invader to you? Stop pew pew pewing me. Bite it. We need that dedicated dark type, man. A Houndoom would be real good too. I could do with a fire type as well. Drapion or a Houndoom. Whatever you can get first. Oh, I didn't read your lines. I'm sorry. You now are less important than every other random trainer that I've fought up to this point because I didn't read your lines. Sorry, man. I took all your everything away. I'm like, I'm no better than Team Galactic. Oh well. <laughs> Ooh, citrus berries. Citrus berries are pretty good. Chesto berries, again. Everybody loves the chesto berry. Good for that, uh, you know, chesto resto. Almost as good as the lum up your bum. <laughs> Alright, stick the Pomega Berry down and let's uh, let's get the hell out of here. Ooh. I need to walk in some uh, long grass. I haven't caught anything wild in a long time. There's gotta be something out here. Win or lose, who knows how this will go. 
Oh, why not? <laughs> we'll run with blank for keeps. Oh, he looks cool, man. I want to be that guy. <laughs> I want his clothes. Oh, he looks so cool. P.I. Carlos. Man, I wish I was cool like you. I'll just have to settle for being way, way better at battling. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> wow. Didn't expect you to pull that one off. I don't do any psychics because there's so few of them, you know? If I start throwing psychic attacks around, I'm gonna run out like that. But it would guarantee a single kill. A single one hit, one kill, you know. Pretty much. The physical attack on the Golduck is still pretty impressive. I'm assuming that means it's got some kind of uh, attack beneficial uh, nature. But I haven't checked their nature, I haven't bothered. Against the AI, it's not really relevant. I mean, it makes a difference, but. <laughs> Doesn't make that much of a difference, you know. The Pokemon AI has always been like the AI of like fighting games. Like the AI in Tekken 7. Irrepressibly stupid. <laughs> I guess wrong too often. But it doesn't mean, like, Pokemon, they're not necessarily dumb. Like, they don't have to be dumb, because the ones that you fight for battle points are usually not dumb. They usually fight pretty strategically, and they're willing to switch and everything. It's just the ones that are in the actual story on the way to the end that are dumb. Because they can make decent AI, they just don't bother. <laughs> Except for the BP stuff. I wonder why. Maybe they're worried the game's gonna be too hard. It should have a hard mode then, shouldn't it? An easy mode and a hard mode. I obviously, they're probably worried that it'd be too hard for kids. So they should just have a difficulty slider, a difficulty setting. I play in hard mode. Probably get my ass kicked, but I'd still play it. Nice. Monster AV, you gonna evolve yet? Take down. Yeah, alright. It's a normal attack. We could do with a decent normal attack. I'm gonna keep quick attack though. Even against the AI, that's kinda useful. Of Whirlwinds and all that. Recoil is not as useful against the AI because you have to fight so many of them. Recoil attacks. But still. Seems like it wants to be petted. We're in the middle of a fight, Goldrock. Time and place, my dude. <laughs> I'll pet you later, just kill this pony though already. <laughs> I'll pet you after you're done with your killing spree, okay? God. I'm so envious of your Pokedex. We need to check out this whole rock side as well. Oh, cricket tune. <laughs> Such a weird call. Wow, wow. What level A? He's dozing off again. Can he stop doing that? Kind of annoying. Uh, I'm going to Crobat, I suppose. This is the only use Crobat has for n inflicting non lethal damage on things that I want to catch. Thanks for your contribution, Crobat. <laughs> I can do that. Slightly more effective, too. It's gonna be a long battle like this. <laughs> You're not gonna hit me, though. Oh man, that was quite a bit of recovery. I don't like that. If I hit him with cross poison, he's gonna die. If I hit him with air cutter, he's absolutely gonna die. Well, 
I need to catch it. I do have nest balls as well. Not nest balls. Um, I mean, I do have nest balls, but net balls, I mean. Net balls are perfect for this. Because they get a bonus on bug and water types. Come on, just go yellow. I just want you to go yellow. You son of a bitch. Alright, whatever. Let's start throwing balls at it. How do you irritate me like this? We didn't catch a cricket top though. Cricket the only one we've seen. Very weird. It crosses its knife-like arms in front of its chest. When it cries, it can compose melodies and... Lib? Lib? Metronome. Oh, you. Oh, you want to teach me something about Pokemon? How to lose gracefully. <laughs> okay, that might be a bit overconfident. <laughs> Never mind, it uses, she uses a worm dam. It's not overconfident. Grass type Wimmer Dam, though, so we might have to switch at least. Bring it on, Wimmer Dam. Bug Bite. I'm having to go to great lengths to teach my Scythe a Bug Bite. Great links. <laughs> wow, is that right? Apparently. Oh, dude. Over here. I sensed the presence of a trainer for a while. It was you. Yeah, I was standing right in front of you trying to get your attention. <laughs> your psychic power seemed to be working, but your eyes certainly fucking don't. <laughs> Probably get that looked at. Sick him, Golduck. Yeah, we need. Okay, you want to be petted? I get it. I don't even know how to do that. Anyway, we need to explore the grass more. I feel like I'm missing out on things because I haven't been running around the grass. Because, like I've said, I've wanted to keep the. Uh, Keep the, uh, the flow going. Keep it rolling, you know. I feel like running around in the grass holds everything up. But, uh, we are missing out, I think, on quite a bit. There's just so many trainers to battle. That takes half the, half the time to get through them. There must be something about Torterra that everyone thinks looks like a space invader. I know he's large and saucer shaped, but I don't think he's an alien spaceship. Not everything large and saucer shaped is a spaceship. Defeating you will be no easy matter. I don't think you're going to be able to now, your Pokemon are all knocked out. You're going to go back to the drawing board or something. Need that item over there. Um, why did you not attack me? Big root, nice. Get out of my way, Goldark. Can't believe he still likes me despite the fact that I shove him around like that. <laughs> Even though I bully him on a daily basis. Get out of my way, Psyduck. Goldark, whatever you are. Whatever your face. God damn it, everywhere I go. Geodudes, Bidoofs. Cricket tunes. <laughs> Sturdy, of course. Waste that PP for me, would you?
I think we're near the town, but we really gotta make sure we knock out every single Pokemon trainer on the on the path. That's how we know we're up to level. By leaving a, a, a slew of bodies in our wake. That's the only way to know that you're doing a good job. Sup? I've been traveling around the world chasing stories on mysteries. It's made me pretty tough. Show me. <laughs> Bronzor? Ah, oh, shield on. I feel like Bronzor is better than shield on. I think the uh, the final form of shield on looks cool. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but uh, it's not great. It's not great. Four times weak to ground. Four times weak to earthquake. Not a good look. Not a good look. Four times weak to fucking fighting attacks. Mm, not a good look. <laughs> you know. And fighting attacks are one of the most prevalent types of attacks competitively because they're just that good. Because they beat steel types, effectively. That's a downer. Anything that beats a steel type, it's good. Giraffe a rig! I don't think we have that, do we? Time to get out the goal bed again. I mean, Crobat, actually that won't work because he's going to have psychic attacks and that would be really bad. So... I don't really know. Hmm. Oh, maybe Onyx is Dragon Breath. That shouldn't kill. That's one advantage of Dragon Breath. It's consistent. It's kind of weak, but it's always consistent. Man, I'm glad I didn't switch into Crobat. Man, that would have been unpleasant. Yikes. Thank God. Another side beam would have been pretty unpleasant. Can we get another one off? Ah, I don't think so. I kind of want to switch into Kadabra, but I'm worried the Stomp's going to come out. And that'll kill a Kadabra. They're pretty frail. <laughs> Their constitution is pretty frail, physically speaking. If a side beam comes out, I'm all good. Um, we got one great ball. Let's use that, I suppose. God damn it. I feel like this thing's gonna start murdering my whole team because I don't really have any way to shut it down. You know? The only way that I've got to shut it down is to put it in a Pokeball. Or shut it down forever. <laughs> cool. It's a giraffe rig right there. Its tail has a separate small brain. The tail bites to repel any foe trying to sneak up on the Pokemon from behind. It's pretty clever, man. Like your, uh, whatever preys on you to eat you is not going to be able to sneak up on you. To find my favorite Pokemon, I'll go east, west, or any which way. What is your favorite Pokemon? I need to know that. It's important to me now. Is it I assume not, because he's still looking for it, right? See, this is the problem with Torterra being a, new, a ground type. I can't really switch into Torterra now. I mean, I could. I mean, I could. It's not like the Weasel's going to knock it out. But this is going to need neutral damage.
And if it just if it just so happens to have an ice attack, that's quad damage, baby. It's gonna waste the last of my psychics. Looking good. Amnesia? Ah, oh, no. I only need attacks really against the AI, frankly. Especially since we're gonna have the Elite Four and everything to deal with at some point. So we need the PP to last. Jamal. But they're my favorite Pokemon. Okay, that is your favorite Pokemon. So you're trying to catch more Boizels because three Boizels ain't enough? I feel like three Boizels is enough, is enough for any man. This area seems to be very mystifying. That's the sense I get. To show you what I mean, I'll battle with the Pokemon I found. Is it mystical? Like a... I don't know, a Chimacharu or something? What's a mystical Pokemon? Cranidos. I guess it's mystical in the sense that it's extinct and brought it back to life using a fossil thing. I think this is... I think Kratidos is more... more interesting than Shieldon. Being the glass cannon of the two. It's very frail though. Geodude. I guess the mystical thing about Geodude is the fact that it just floats there. It doesn't have legs or anything. I think there are other Pokemon that do that, but they tend to make more sense, usually. You know? Like, uh, ghastly or whatever. But it's made of gas, so of course it floats there. Or, uh, Magnemite it floats there because of its, uh, magnet thing. <laughs> I mean, it might not make sense, but at least it's something. Geodude just, Geo just floats there, because I said so, okay? Fuck, what do you want from me? <laughs> I guess it goes for the bronze ore as well. I can't win with Pokemon that I'm not familiar with. They're your Pokemon, I'm not making you better with my Pokemon. How are you not familiar with your own Pokemon? <laughs> what kind of universe do you live in, lady? Man? Person? Thing? Crazy? <gasps> it's a cave! Dude, I didn't even notice! Oh, man, there's always a cave, isn't there? Oh, you're the... You're the fossil guy. You're like, oh, I found fossils. Bloody blah. Everyone calls me a ruined maniac. I don't care what they call me. I just keep on chipping away at the rock wall little by little. Do you know why? I'm a ruined maniac who's fascinated by the unknown. I know it's a little sudden, but how about you and me have a race? You go and catch the unknown, and I'll keep digging away. We'll have a race to see who can be done, get done faster. Are you crazy? You want me to catch all the unknown? Because I've already done that in another game. I don't really want to do it again. You know, I'm not, I'm not bothered. Maybe we'll do it later. But I've already got all the unknowns. I can't remember what, what game I did it in, but I've still got them in my Pokemon home. I've had them all these years. Good work, Crobat. Nice speed, man. Do you see that speed? Now that's a speed step. Uh, that's not a way out, is it? It's a dead end in there. That guy. Alright, I think we might be in town. Oh, you are battling. For the sake of my collection, I take on people I know I can't beat. That's what a collector does. Didn't I walk past him before and he didn't fight me? Douglas. I see. Interesting. Uh, 
Um, stop dozing off. Eh, I'm not gonna switch. Murder. Oh, Gold <laughs> Golduck. You are a one, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> another one. Line him up, the Golduck massacre is just getting started. <laughs> I know you think you have a type advantage, <laughs> but you would be, I mean, kind of mistaken. I mean, you do have a type advantage, I'm not gonna lie. Okie dokie. Nice, come on. Evolve for me, would you? You're the last one. You should boast more about that last attack. Yeah, man, that psychic attack. That one that I used to kill every single one of your Rosaliers. It's good stuff. Oh, here we go. I knew that must have been close. Does it learn co close combat right away? It has a savage nature. It will courageously challenge foes that are much larger than itself. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's the game done, I guess. <laughs> there goes all difficulty stampeding out of the room. <laughs> I'm just going to shove Goldrack the whole way. <laughs> Goldrack, you fool. Oh my god, it teleported on top of me. I know you can do it, Goldrack. I believe in you. Power of friendship. Thanks. Man, we need to wrap this one up, but I was hoping to get to town first, but I feel like that probably is not going to happen. It always takes me two episodes to get to a town. Have you noticed that? Not at the start, but there's a lot of things around. To protect the lake, it's nice to know there are still people worth admiring like that. I believe his name was Cyrus? I see. Paralyzed heal? Good. Is this town? Oh yeah, this is town. Where's the Pokemon Center at? Can I talk to you? What am I to do? I'm gonna drop my sweet key somewhere again. The hotel people won't be happy with me. I'm sure I had it when I left reception counter really. Oh man, alright, I'll help you. I suppose. Oop. Where's the hunty findy thing? I don't know if this is how you use it. I don't... I don't even remember. Hello? Oh, hello. You wish to stay the night? I'm afraid we're totally booked. You may rest a while if you wish. Is this the Pokemon Center? <laughs> you restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. This hotel is so romantic. I hope a night on a Pokemon will sweep me away from a honeymoon here. This is the Pokemon Center. Or well, the closest we're gonna get to a Pokemon Center. I stand stoically in front of the deep blue sea. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. The seaside suits me better than the sea. I'm a rich boy. <laughs> it's a very strange thing to say. Let's gonna have a quick look around, and then we'll wrap it up. Me, I'm just a simple soul. I let my guitar do, guitar do all the talking. All I need is music and Pokemon. I can shine wherever I go if I have those things in my life. Why is there those freaky clowns everywhere? They just want to reuse the model, I guess, right? Like, well, we made a clown model, so we might as well just keep using it. 
Don't want to waste all that modeling talent. That sounded really sarcastic. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to be an asshole. It just comes so naturally to me. <laughs> Hi there. It's me, the Ginga loving director. Battling over trainers sure is other oh, trainers sure is exciting, isn't it? Keep building up those bonds with your Pokemon so you can take on tougher trainers. Ciao. I'm a game director. You're working on filling a Pokedex, aren't you? It's awesome that you're going to meet lots of Pokemon. Come show me your Pokedex when you filled it with tons of entries. And then when it's full, full. And then you'll have a reward for me, presumably. Well, I guess we're going to wrap this one up here. Can I, can I get to that? I wonder. Hang on, what's down here? Hello. Stop, stop! Yes, you! Sunny Shore City, which is down this road, had a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring the power, but the road's closed now. Alright, well, we're gonna wrap this one up here, so we uh, kind of made it to a Pokemon Center, I suppose. And uh, in the next one, we will figure out where the hell we are, why, and what we do next. Is that right? You're a traveler. Yes, it's good to see other places. Have you heard of the Tin Tower in the Johto region? The rainbow colored Pokemon? I must see that in my lifetime. Uh oh. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting out with me, and I'll see you on the next one.